Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to Minecraft on the Beach Block server. That's right, folks, we are back on the block. We're doing some vanilla Minecraft, and as you can see, the uh, ocean monument is all covered. I'm doing these last little uh, pillars of sand by hand because uh, at, when, when the center of this thing fills up, you waste a lot of sand. I mean, there's probably a ton of sand down here in these. Uh, actually, there may not be because I think I cleared it out, but there's there, there was a bunch of sand down here in these hoppers, and so... Uh, very little of this outside edge was getting done so uh, really all we have to do is finish this little piece right here and then we will be ready to uh, to start clearing some sand out now we're not going to clear the sand out today because I got other things on the agenda that I want to make sure that we get done today um, like first and foremost I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do aha done uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do with this place once we get it all cleared out once we get uh, get it all opened up um, I saw in mumbo jumbo's hermitcraft uh, series that he's got some glass like on the corners here to keep the water from caving in once you take the sand out I think we're gonna do that because I do like the idea of having just a wall of water around the outside edge of the uh, uh, of the of the ocean monument but I don't know that we're gonna do glass I think we might do some other blocks like maybe some prismarine blocks or something along that line something along those lines because I want to put an arch in. I want to do an arch from that corner over there to that corner over there and then the far corner over this way to the far corner over that way um, it, and and make it out of like a I don't want it to be like a dome I want it to just be an arch like a crisscross arch going in both directions um, I think that'll look kind of cool uh, we'll have to see how it goes because I also want to make sure that right here in the middle uh, right on the top of the the, the big pyramid looking thing that, that's in the top of the ocean Mon monument that's where I want to put a beacon um, and it's going to be one of the big beacons where you can do like four different things on it, right? Um, that way we've got lots of different effects that we can have out here at our uh, at our ocean base. Where did you guys come from? You guys should not have, uh, you guys shouldn't have spawned that quick. You're going to die by the time you get here? Ow, ow, there's another one. Ow, ow. I don't like you. That's not very nice. Okay, I've got flint. There we got, there we got it. Okay. Um. I had fire protection on my armor, right? There's not there, not there. Yeah, it's on my helmet. Maybe that's not enough. Hmm. Anyway, so, yeah, this thing's all filled up. Oh, you got to die, too. hi -ya. There we go. Done. All right, so what I, what I do want to show you is last episode, we uh, we built our, uh, uh, our guardian spawner. And let me tell you, it's actually performing very well. I did have to make some changes. I'll show you. I'll take you downstairs and show you the changes uh, here in just a second. But this thing has been pumping out the prismarine. Uh, well, pumping out the guardians, and in effect, we we're getting a bunch of prismarine. Let me show you down here. We got a bunch of chests. So, like, uh, well, we've got. I, I'll, I'll show you what I did on the other side. I put the row of uh, prismarine lamps down here. I changed the configuration in there just a little bit because it wasn't working the way that I wanted it to. But look at all this. We've gotten ourselves quite a number of sea lanterns now uh, from all of the drops that we've been getting from this thing. And so what I did was, remember, if you may, you may recall in the last episode that there was a killing spot, a killing shoot, like right down here in the center. It, that wasn't working so well. So I, I, I took that out. I redesigned it. I gave myself a little bit more space in between uh, the, the water and the uh, fence gates. So I moved those up another row and, and then changed all of this. And now all of the guardians, they fall down in here and put three chests in. And this is just what I have left, right? This is all the prismarine that I have left from what I've been doing. We've got just a ton of stuff, so I couldn't be happier. Uh, BC came by and gave me some rent, some mending books because I died again. <laughs> um, uh, where was, oh, I was here. I was AFK here and... There must have been a dark spot in here because a zombie came along and killed me and I lost everything. I was AFK and away from the house and when I came back, I, it just said you died and there was nothing left. Except for the zombie that had stolen my chest plate. So the chest plate is left over from, uh, from before, but uh, that, there was nothing else left after that. So <laughs> anyway, so what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to let this thing kind of pump out what it's got to pump out and we're going to build something back here. I've been, well, I've been thinking about how we want to do this. I think I want these two sides. Oh, I did some clearing out in here too. I think I want these two sides, this side here and, uh, and this side over here. I think I want 
this to be like the storage areas. And so what I'm thinking is we'll have uh, a central spot where we can dump items into. We'll have hoppers and item elevators and all that. And yes, I see you up there. I still have to go in and clear all that out, but uh, we'll get to that. Um, but anyway, hoppers and stuff over here and uh, chests and stuff and the same thing over there. And I want to make it so that, uh, so that our storage area is, um, uh, is fairly automated. But before we do that, um, I want to do a, uh, I want to get a super smelter in because we are going to need to turn a lot of this sand that we have, uh, a lot of this sand here into glass. I also need to cook up a bunch of netherrack because I need a bunch of nether brick in order to get going on our, uh, our, our nether hub project that we're going to be working on here soon too. So I kind of need a, I kind of need a furnace array and a furnace array is definitely the thing that we want to get going on. So we're going to do, uh, an ill mango. Uh, furnace array. This thing is pretty cool. It uh, it does the good. It does the job, right? Um, it's a 22 furnace array, and it basically will cook anything you throw at it. And plus, if we're right here building, we're going to be getting tons of guardians, which is awesome. I do want to move this back. I think I don't know that I want it to end up where it's at because it's right here inside the front door. I had to make some space here so that we could, you know so that we could get around this thing. And I'm not sure I like that. So it might end up moving back here a little bit, like maybe right here, but as you can, oh no, oh gosh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, yeah. okay, that's fine. Whew. Didn't want that to happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Get me out, get me out. Oh, good, I made it. That was almost bad. Uh, forgot I had efficiency five on my pickaxe now. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're going to put a furnace array in, so I've got to go and get some cobblestone. We need to make 22 furnaces. We're going to need a bunch of repeaters and comparators and, and all kinds of other blocks that we're going to need for the, uh, uh, for the redstone and stuff. So let me go and gather up all of that stuff, and I will come back to you uh, in just a minute. All right, so I need lots of wood because uh, we've got to make lots of hoppers. Uh, I do have some iron, which uh, the reason we have some iron is because Kraken, uh, Kra Kraken built an iron phoenix, so we got a big iron farm on the server now. Uh, one day we'll get over there and we'll show it to you, but uh, right now I don't have time to even go look at it. But it, from the video that I've seen, if you haven't checked the video out, uh, go over to his channel and check that out because it's pretty amazing. Um, but we'll have iron for days. And he came by and he dropped off uh, a bunch of iron for me one day. And so we should have plenty. I think we'll have enough to build the hoppers that we need. But we didn't have any wood. So got to chop down all these trees. Okay, so this is the center of the temple right here, right? Um, I've got some hoppers and I've got some furnaces. We're going to go ahead and lay out the first layer of this thing. So right here is the center of the temple uh, on this back wall. And I want this furnace array to be centered on this back wall. So what we need to do is from this spot right here, we need to come out five blocks. So one right there. So that's uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be the very front of the facade of our furnace array, if I'm thinking right. Uh, so one, two, three, Four. Yeah, so this will be the very front of the facade. So right here on this block, I think it's that block. So uh, I got to count this again. Hold on. So one, two, three, four. This block right here is going to be where our first furnace is going to sit. So let's go ahead and put a furnace there and a furnace there. That's going to be the center line. So let's go ahead and put those right there. Boom, boom. We'll go ahead and take these blocks back out. Where's my silk touch right there? So boom and boom, get rid of those. And now what we need to do is we need to put uh, 11 furnaces on this side, 11 furnaces on this side for a total of 22. Um, and then we're going to need to get a bunch of hoppers going across the bottom. So let me go ahead and lay those out also. We're going to need a bunch of hoppers coming into the top, and we're also going to need a bunch of hoppers coming into the back. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have hoppers going into these like so, right? And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken... Yes. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and put a couple of blocks here. Let's give me a block here and a block there. And I'll go ahead and put this here like so and that there like that. Then we also need a hopper here and a hopper there, right? And then we'll get this block out of here and this block out of here. And let's go ahead and put, uh, let's go ahead and put a couple of temporary blocks in here for us. So boom, 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 and boom. And then we'll need a block like this and like this, right? So what we'll have here 
is we'll have a set of hoppers going this way that will bring items across and then we'll have a set of hoppers right underneath that will filter items down in and then the same thing in the back we'll have a set of hoppers that will go across and a set of hoppers that will take fuel in the back right so let me go ahead and get the rest of these furnaces in, get the rest of these hoppers in, and we'll kind of give you an idea of exactly what this thing is supposed to look like. Okay, so all the furnaces are in, all the hoppers are in. Um, we're going to work on a way to feed this automatically so that we don't have to have like an input chest over here. I'd like to have an input chest someplace uh, kind of remote to this thing. I'm not sure exactly where yet, but uh, but anyway, 22 furnaces going across, and now we need to do a little bit of redstone, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and go around to the back, and I want to put in uh, a whole row of uh, stone bricks. Oh, that's got to go. I missed a bunch. <laughs> so we'll put in a whole row of stone bricks. Oh, oh, I didn't get all the hoppers in. I still, I'm still missing some. Darn it. Uh, that's okay. I can make this work. So let's get rid of this. I'll have to fix that real quick because it is, uh, it is imperative that these hoppers get in here. So let's get rid of this because I got to have hoppers going into the backs of the uh, backs of the furnaces. So, oops, whoopsie. Um, Anyway, that's fine. We'll just do this. Uh, like that. And then go along the other side just like the same way. Boom, boom, boom. Whoops. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, just like that. And then we also need another row right here. And then this is going to have uh, repeaters and redstone on it. So that's the, that'll be the first part. Whoops, get rid of that. I think I've got some repeaters in my shulker box over here. Um, I have some. I'm going to need some more of those, aren't I? Let's go ahead and take these and this, and we'll go ahead and make some. Uh, like so, and so, and so. Uh, that might actually be enough. Let's go see. So we need these. Al oh, no, it won't be because I need 22 of them. Darn it. Uh, so anyway, just like this, all the way across... And then also we're going to need redstone going all the way across. So there'll be redstone right here, all the way down, like so. Uh, let's go ahead and put these in, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. We'll have to make up some more of this stuff. We're also going to need to do, however, we're also going to need to make a couple of comparators. And I want to do that with you guys on camera. Um, because this is the part that actually controls everything. What this is designed to do is it's designed to do one item at a time, 22 items simultaneously, right? So each furnace will be smelting one item. We'll use wood as our fuel source. We could use coal too, but uh, that's a little bit inefficient, I think. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves some... Uh, we're going to need at least one... Well, we should have some comparators here, don't we? Yeah, we've got a couple here. So I think I need two... So let's take those, and then we're going to need some blocks, which I've got some, yeah, I've got some stone bricks here. So now, uh, the way that this works is on coming off of this, coming off of this particular hopper right here. We've got something that looks like this, this, this. Get rid of this, right? Uh, give me. Oh, you're not going to give me? There we go. Uh, then we need to come up here. Boom, boom. Uh, like this. We can put this comparator in here like so. Get rid of this. Uh, yes. Boom. Okay. And then it goes into another block like so. Boom. And then there's another... Oh, I guess I should have just stayed up there. There's another block on top like that. Uh, this will have... Um, yeah. And then there'll be blocks here and here it looks like. Boom. There'll be a repeater here, so I'll have to make some more of those. This will be a redstone, a piece of redstone here. And so what's going to happen is, is that when this, uh, when this row of hoppers gets a uh, gets full, 
it actually will power this and the comparator will pick it up and it'll fire it back this way and then there'll be a string of redstone going along across the top to lock these hoppers down so that they can't take any more and then there'll be another string another string of redstone that will unlock them and allow them to filter down inside i'm going to make sure that i include the link to il mango's video on uh, how to build this thing in the description uh, because i just don't have the time to, to to justify it and besides he's got a really good tutorial on it anyway so let me go ahead and make some more redstone repeat I'll get some more, uh, get the rest of these uh, these hoppers in place, and I'll come back to you and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so uh, picking up where we left off, uh, I've done a few things since we were last together. I got the the comparators in there. I've got the repeater up there. Now that repeater, if I'm not mistaken, I think the repeaters in here all have to be on three ticks. Not these down here. These don't have to have any delay on them at all. But I think that repeater up there has to have three ticks. And then all of these repeaters down through here. There's going to be a series of hoppers that have redstone across the top of them. And then there'll be a couple of blocks that jut out like this. And then there'll be a string more that'll have redstone. And then it'll couple, uh, a couple of blocks will jut out. And I, all of these repeaters here, these all have to be on three ticks. Um, I need to get up here. So how? am I going to do that? I guess we'll go around to the front. Um, what do I have for blocks? Let's go ahead and make all of these into, re into stone slabs because we're going to need them anyway. So let's go up here. I hear skeleton. I don't know why. Hmm. Anyway, so from here... Uh, so, okay, there's a, there's a glitch in redstone in Minecraft, especially with hoppers, uh, after 1.10 or 1.11, I think it's 1.11, where every, like, eighth hopper will lose a tick, and so it'll skip, right? It'll, you'll get a tick delay on it, and it'll skip, and so items won't pass through like they're supposed to. But by doing this little hitch right here, you can actually make it so that it gets the tick when it's supposed to, and it doesn't get skipped over. So that's what we're doing here. And then we want to go, uh, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to go another six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six right there. And then we want to put two more blocks out here like this. Like I said, I'm going to make sure that the uh, uh, that I've got the uh, the video, the link to Il Mango's video in the description uh, in three ticks. Uh, yeah, three ticks. Um, and then we want to go one, two, three, four, five. So five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Right. And then we want to go out again like this. So I guess it's not every eighth block. That's something. It's something else. Um, anyway, so we want to put redstone here. Nope, not a, not a block. Uh, get rid of this, get rid of this. So it's not a block, it's redstone, redstone, and then a, and then a compare or not a comparator, but a, a, a repeater. And that should be one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then down here on this end, this is where Il Mango has his, uh, has his inputs, which is fine. We won't, we don't, I'm not too worried about that just yet because we can add some extra hoppers out there later. I actually have enough hoppers to do that if I wanted to. Um, so that takes care of this part. Now we also have to do some redstone up here on the top and that is going to be a little bit more difficult. Let me, uh, let me get my picture here where I can see it. Uh, I only have one monitor, and it's kind of it's kind of hard to look at multiple things at the same time. So again, starting down here. Oh, let me talk about this for a second. So this right here, this comparator is picking up whether there's an item in this hopper or not. And when it is, and when there is, it'll power the uh, power the comparator, which will power the block, which will turn off the torch, which will turn off this block, which will turn off this torch, which will or turn on this torch, which will power the redstone. And then that redstone is what goes down and powers this line of hoppers right here, which is what drops our fuel down into the back of the furnace. So that's that's where that comes in. Now on the other side, over here with our item input, um, that's a little bit more complicated. So let's see if we can do this together on camera uh, based on the picture that I have. And the picture is based off of Il Mango's video. I built it in my creative world and uh, and that's kind of where it kind of where it comes in. But anyway, starting down here at this end, you've got the down there, you've got the comparator to a block. There's a redstone on top. Then there's a block, and then that fires into this repeater, which that repeater does not look like it has a delay. So uh, what we need to do here is we need to go one, two, and then we need to start putting some redstone down here, right? So boom, whoops, not like that. Boom, boom. But if we do that, it's going to go down here and interfere with this. So we need to put two blocks there so that it cuts it off, right? Um, so that takes care of that. 
And then at the same time, we also need to have, I gotta make sure I get this right, there should be a block here, okay? And then, you know what, I'm gonna have, you know what, let me get my other picture up, because I'm gonna need to see this from the other side too. So hang on one second, I'll come right back to you. Okay, I think I got it figured out here. Let me, uh, let me get down here a little bit and I'll show you what we're talking about. Um, so you've got two blocks here, right? Oh, and there's one more thing I gotta show you on the back too. Uh, which I did not put in. Down here at this end, right here, here, right here, uh, we need to have a block and some redstone and a torch. So let's make a redstone torch uh, because this is what's going to power uh, these these uh, repeaters down here. So those are now locked, right? And that's important because that's what keeps fuel from flowing into the chest or into the uh, into the furnace too soon. So that takes care of that. But anyway, over here on the front, and now there's going to be another row of blocks here, but I'm going to make these decorative blocks because I want them to kind of match the decor out here. So I haven't put those in yet. I want to do all the redstone up here first. Um, let's get up here so we can see this. Boom, 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 boom. So you've got repeater, redstone, redstone, fall on the floor, climb back up again. So repeater, redstone, redstone, redstone down here on the hoppers, two blocks over here to block it, one block here with redstone on top, repeater on three stick, three ticks into a block, and then this block right here is, uh, um, I think is just to keep things from coming back this way, right? And then you got a, another block here with some redstone on it, and then you go four more blocks, so two, three, well, three more blocks. So you go four blocks in total and do some more redstone like this. Okay, and then you go down, one, two, and then you gotta have two blocks, so boom, boom. And then over here, you gotta have two blocks again, so I gotta get right there on the edge. Oh, that's not it. There it is, aha, but that one goes there anyway, so that's fine. And then this, and then a repeater, and four ticks, or three ticks, excuse me. And then we come down here, and we put another block right there, and a block there, there, two, four, right? And we come back up here, and then we do redstone, 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 right? Uh, yeah, that should be right, okay? And we just do this all the way, the rest of the way down. So let me go ahead and finish this up, and we should, we should be ready to test it out. Be right back. Okay, I think we're ready to do some testing now. So. Uh, I put in a couple of hoppers down here and I put in a couple of input chests. We, those won't be permanent because we'll probably have item elevators or whatever to bring whatever we decide to, br uh, to cook in here. But uh, So there's 22 furnaces, right? So what I should be able to do is I should be able to take and put 22 pieces of fuel into the fuel chest. And the fuel chest is going to be this one right here. And if I, if they did this right, then each one of these furnaces, after these, uh, after these repeaters fire, each one of these furnaces should have, should have a piece of fuel in them. Okay, so they just fired. So now, do I have a piece of fuel in here? I do. Here, yep, here, yep, cool. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna check every single one of them because I'm pretty sure that they're right. Uh, so that's got fuel in it. That's got fuel in it. Okay, so now if I bring something in here that I can cook, what do I have that I can... Hey, where'd you come from? I don't like you. How'd you get out of there? That's all right. We're just going to kill this guy. Hi-ya. Hi-ya. Oh, come back here. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Will you die, please? I never did put sharpness on my sword, and it's... Ugh. Yeah, but, but, come on. That's it. I'm going to get you this time. Gotcha. <laughs> How do you get out of there? Oh, he came from there. Yeah, I got to get that all. I got to get that thing cleared out. The thing's really starting to bug me. Uh, anyway, so let's go get some stuff to cook. What do I have to cook? I should have some cobble around here, maybe? What do I got in here? Mm, nothing. Oh, I know what I have to cook. Ha, ha, ha. I know what I have to cook. Let's get... Uh, let's get some, yeah, some nether rack. Nether rack will be fine. Let's go cook some nether rack. Because we need nether brick anyhow. So if I get 22 pieces of nether rack. So boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Right? So there's 22. Now let's put this in here and put that in there like that. And let's watch these furnaces. Uh, why is that, why did that power? Oh, I know why. Shoot. Ha! Not done yet. Darn it. Uh, go away. Stop. Okay. 
Um, so that's ready there. Let's go ahead and put, we'll just go ahead and put another piece of coal, uh, fuel in there. <laughs> I got to put, I got to put something across the front here. So what we're going to use for that, since we're going to try and make this kind of themed, um, uh, I think I want to use prismarine brick. Yeah, I think I want to use prismarine brick. So let's get some of those. And that's going to have to be a red stone across the top of there. So let's get that like so. Let's get that. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. We've got to put these across the front of these hoppers because that we need to lock these hoppers shut, right? So do that and then... That it, yeah, that's the right spot. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to put redstone in across that. So let's go... Oh, how am I going to do this? Let's just do this like that so that we can get around. Oh, and that too. And this too. And uh, we don't need to do it there. We're going to need some more redstone. Yes, we don't have enough redstone. And we're going to need a redstone torch. So let's grab that. And let's make ourselves a redstone torch like so. Uh, how many redstone torches do I need? I need two, actually. So let's make another one. Nope, that's never going to work. Do that. There we go. Okay, so now, coming up here, boom, boom, right here we need to have a redstone torch. So let's go ahead and put that in. Uh, it is here, right? Yeah, it's right here. So there's that, and then we need some redstone. So let's put this down like so. Oh, hello, phone. Phone's making noise at me, which is fine. And then this needs to go all the way down like this. And there needs to be another redstone torch right here because this won't, that one won't be long enough to get all the way down to the end, right? So let's go ahead and power this. Same here. Same there. And that should be powered all the way down. It is. Cool. Let's get rid of these blocks. And now it'll work. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I feel like such a derp. That's okay, though. That's why you guys love me so much, because I derp around so much. Okay, so now we need 21 of these again. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, right? So there's 22. Put those into the fuel, or into the into the item chest. And here in just a second, we should see all of these turn on. Yes, it works. Sweet. So now those are going to go ahead and cook everything up, and eventually you'll see all of the items. Uh, shouldn't only take them. Should only take another second. Boom! There it comes, and you should start seeing them filter into this hopper right here, and eventually they'll come into whatever we output them to, which will probably be our item storage area. Which that is probably one of the next things that we'll get started on. Although we do need to do some work in the Nether Hub uh, because the guys are kind of getting antsy about me doing some work in there. So anyway, I think, folks, though, that's all we've got time for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll uh, we'll chat about it you guys have been super great about uh, all the love and support i truly truly do appreciate it thank you for all of the support on the beach block series you guys are doing uh you guys are helping me out by uh, immensely by giving me all the views i surely surely do appreciate it but once again folks we are out of time so until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later bye bye a very special thanks to my patreon support staff if you'd like to become a patreon patron Visit my page at www.patreon.com slash rb underscore plays to find out more details.